And ladies and gentlemen, your next bout of the evening is three five and a rounds in the Bantamweight division. Introducing your first warrior, fighting out of the blue corner. This man's a mixed martial artist with a professional record of one win and two losses. He stands 170 centimeters tall and weighs already 61.3 kilograms. Representing SBG Charlestown from Ireland. Give it up for Ian Concrete Cleary. And his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This fan's a mixed martial artist with a professional record of three wins and one loss. He stands 175 centimeters tall and weighs already 61.4 kilograms. Representing KHK MMA from the magnificent Kingdom of Bahrain. Give it up for Hamzat Magomedov. Your referee is Leon Roberts. Just before and as Carlos was announcing, Hamza Magomedov in clearly was jumping around as if he was a spring coil waiting to go, almost like he Gentlemen, knew first something, round. You ready Phil. To fight? You ready to fight? Bring it up. We're underway, a touch of gloves. Clearly is in the white and red. Magomedov is in the black and gray. Very light on his feet. You see Michael Medov has the feet planted a little bit more. But we see this sometimes from wrestlers. People, oh, big shot by him clearly right down the pipe and then slips out. Very is the one taking control of the center. Showing different looks, just pawn that jab out there and looking for the low kick. Michael Medov hits a nice low kick, but one was a calf kick. Beautiful shot, just it. Cleary, no, he's not going to control the dance, but nice movement by Cleary. And something you said, Phil, in the breakdown was that uppercut. Yeah. He's definitely true it. He needs to at least show Michael Medov that he has the uppercut loaded, that he has the knee loaded to warn off the takedown attempts. Michael Medov just missed with that right hand, a slip on the canvas, but Cleary done well just to get his head off center line there. Cleary, that was a close call. That was as close as can be. What you just witnessed could have ended it. What you just witnessed right there could have ended it. This fight could end at any second. You see Michael Medov almost, almost stalking Ian Cleary, forcing him. Again, I think he's trying to force him against the cage and maybe shoot him for the takedown. On two occasions, Cleary threw the right hand and Michael Medov was waiting with that right counter just as Ian dipped off to his left hand side. Gotta be careful. Michael Medov potentially may have got a read there, but Cleary staying light, throwing heavy shots here. He needs to be wary after throwing that one too. We just seen the feint there from Magomedov as if he was going to throw the straight to counter. Magomedov keeping that right hand high and triggering it out. A knee could be coming there. Was, you can see Cleary trying to potentially pull him down for the knee there. Switches to Southpaw. Oh, beautiful leading uppercut right there for me at Concrete Cleary. Oh, oh. Shared to Cleary with the nice uppercut, followed by a right hand and turns Magomedov into a takedown. And that was because of the big shot that Ian Cleary landed, forcing the wrestler to clinch. Looking for the strong underhook here, and him trying to rip Magomedov up, but Magomedov gets the takedown as he normally does when he gets his two hands clapped. Michael Medov doing what Michael Medov does best. You can see him now trying to get that hook. And now he takes the back. This is not a good position for Ian Cleary. Ian Cleary just trying to get back up and take the back. So he's going to have to fight hands here and try to separate. Very intelligent for Michael Medov. He's using the knees to the thigh to take away that spring in the step of Ian Cleary. Very smart. Ian Cleary just trying to turn and maybe turn into it. Michael Menoff, try and separate them hands. Easier said than done on a big takedown with the hand pass again. Just shows the strength and technique of Hamza. And this is the problem, Kirik. Ian is defending here, but as soon as that moment presents itself, the takedown comes and Ian Cleary tries to get back to his feet and the takedown will come again. It's exhausting part of mixed martial arts. One of the most dangerous times in a fight is when you're coming right off the floor. It's very, very hard to keep your opponent off your back, and Concrete was not able to do that. Brave Nation, I am not sure through the television set how much you can tell, but these knees are landing to the legs like a cricket bat. Ian has just broke the grip briefly there in his corner, shouting from the turn into Michael Medoff. He's trying to do the right thing. He's trying to create a little bit of separation, a little bit of space and turn in. But Michael Medoff does what he does best and just maintains that vice-like grip and thundering those knees into the thighs. Landed at least 20 to 25 knees 
And as you said, I'll take the spring out of the step, and that affects everything from movement to power generated in shots as well. So methodical work and smart work. And Cleary separates. Let's see how the arms are from grappling now. In Cleary, we want to come forward. Oh, that was huge. Dean Cleary decided, no, he's not going to play a game anymore. He's going in for the kill, swinging a mess from both men. Dean Cleary has certainly stepped on the accelerator. He wants to get that couple of minutes back that he was stuck in the grappling exchange. John Penny of faints and looks at Magomedov. Magomedov marked up underneath the left eye. Cleary is bringing the fight here. That switch lead up the cut is working really well for Ian Cleary. That shot looked a little laboured, Cleary, coming from Magomedov. Potentially the gas tank could be, could be lowering here for the fighter. It's not the gas tank, but his bell got wrong. When your bell gets wrong, five to ten seconds, you'll be fine. But for that five to ten seconds, you're not. Nice teeth to the body in between Magomedov there, but Cleary is really trying to put the brace on his opponent. Excellent work, but big kick back by Magomedov. That was like a baseball bat. That was just the difference in the style of kicks. Ian Cleary's kicks are landing, but, but Michael Meadows' kicks are digging into Ian Cleary. That's the difference maker. It's almost like Michael Meadows is trying to kick the person beside you and kick through you. But a nice mark under that left eye. There's your 10 second copper. Ian Cleary might try and land something big here in the closing stanzas. Impressive by Cleary after the separation to let Michael Meadows know he's in, it. Not, he's in a fight here. And he's going to put the fight to him and put pressure on him. An excellent opening round here in the bantamweight division. But Ian Cleary, a big fight, a big opportunity against a high-level fighter. How comfortable will he feel after five minutes in the cage, Phil? Well, he's now felt the power. He's now felt the strength of Michael Meadows. But he's bound to take confidence from the closing stanzas right there. He landed big shots. Again, that lead uppercut was beautiful. I'd like to see him maybe follow that up with a straight down the pipe. Let's check out a little bit of action in the first round. And there was the switch of stance to south on that lead uppercut, Kieran. Beautiful work by Cleary. It was indeed. One of the newest developments in this sport is shifting, is going from an orthodox stance to a southpaw. And you just saw an absolutely, absolutely multiple examples of it. Beautiful boat fighters throwing. And their boat fighters are throwing fight ending shots here in exchange. And that's a baseball bat slap that we just heard coming to the end of the round. But own Roddy would be happy with his fighter. What advice would he be given, do you think, in that corner, Phil? Try and maintain the distance as much as possible. Use your jab as a little bit more of a range finder. And then once you've kept that jab in the face, then fire off your heavy shots. Stay right there, be on the line. Right there. Ian Roberts just making sure the fighters are ready to go for the second round. The cage door is closed. I'm made a okay, second of round. Violence. You ready? You ready? Here he's trying to find that range, part of that jab out. Oh, he gets caught beautifully. Michael Medoff just lands the shot and cuts the angle to get away. I like what Cleary's doing with the head movement here. He's showing little feints and keeping that head off center line. Just got caught there, looking for that flying knee again. Cleary's guards a little bit higher now. He's boxing a little bit more intelligently. I like what I'm seeing. He needs to be careful not to drop the hands when he throws that inside leg kick. There's potential there for Magomedov to land a big looping overhand. It's almost like Magomedov is waiting. He's sussing out what Cleary's doing in the second round here. He put out much output himself. Cleary looking at that lead uppercut, switching southpaw stance yet again. But back to Orthodox and now Magomedov throws his first. Nice combination and digs right into the body. Beautiful work by Cleary. Starting to get comfortable in there and yet again turns Magomedov into that wrestler. But as we see, that takedown, do you really want to turn that man into that wrestler? Looking inside the troll here, Michael Medoff. This is not where you want to be. He just ties his opponent up beautifully. He, he's got that cradle position right now, which completely immobilizes the hips of Ian Cleary. There he is looking. Just to try and get an under hook here and recover maybe. Full guard box as well, but if you're sitting dumb with Michael Medoff looking to be on top. And Gamzat Magomedov is happy to sit in this half guard position, the anchor position, if you will, and land his strikes from there. And this is the frustrating part of the fight, I think, for Cleary. He was having success on the feet in both rounds. And when Magomedov gets the distance closed, he gets it down to the man. And you find yourself grappling and defending for your life. But good work sliding. He's almost inside the trunk. He's using that head position just to anchor down and put all his weight on Cleary. Make him carry it. Out the hands up. 
Hamza does not employ an orthodox approach when he goes to an orthodox hierarchy of position. He's a wrestler. This is riding. It can take all kinds of different forms. He's completely happy to be here in top half guard. And what this also does, gentlemen, is it's going to zap the gas tank of A clear. It's going to deplete him because he's the one putting out all the work. He's the one engaging his muscles to try and get out of this position. Then if we do get back to the feet, gentlemen, A clear, he might be a little bit trigger yeah. shy to pull the trigger on attacks because he knows Marmelov is going to change levels and look for that safe down. But sitting in half guard now, this position, and clearly trying to do a little bit of fighting from the bottom, but his corner just asking him to make the adjustments on bottom. And, but Phil, what does he do from this position with such an elite grappler above you? How does he get out of here? He's doing, he's doing the right thing by turning to one hip and trying to slide out, create a little bit of distance, even retain guard. I'd like to see him be a little bit more active with the hips, maybe get that foot on the hip of Michael Medo, push the away to create a little bit of distance. Although he's in a good control position, he hasn't thrown much shots down on top of Cleary. He's purely being grappling. Cleary trying to skip his, scoot his hips to get back to the cage. He needs to be careful of giving up that back, like as he did in the first round. But good work by the Irish man to get it back to the cage wall here. As he stands straight away, not a problem for Magomedov. He says, you want to stand up, take your back. That's what he's done, and now it's a battle of hands yet again. We've seen a repeat of what happened in the opening stanzas of this fight. We're seeing Magomedov with that body lock, crunching in those knees. So I wouldn't be surprised if we see a high elevation takedown coming from Magomedov. Magomedov is just making adjustments. He's going back to them heavy knees on the left thigh of Cleary. Cleary switches sides. That goes, although he's looking for Texas Kamara quick there. But he might be just trying to give his left thigh a break and turn it the other way, Phil needs to try and dig in for an underhook, needs to turn in, dig in for his underhook. But you can see now he's blocking those knees, which means that they're, they're starting to cause him damage. I can a pretty head position and just control of his opponent. And this is something you see, the high level grappling that is. Hands at Magomed. And it's just so difficult for the opponents to get out of there. But that's the puzzle that you have to solve. You have to stop this. You know he wants to grapple. You know he wants to take it down. Your job, Kirk, is to stop it. It is indeed. In order to reach the highest levels of mixed martial arts, you either have to have tremendous wrestling or be able to deal with tremendous wrestling. Cleary, Cleary, clearly is hitting heavy and hard on the outside, but he doesn't yet have an answer to the wrestling game. And it's just the constant pressure. He's constantly making Cleary carry his weight, leaning into him all the time, just emptying the tank and taking his goal. Cleary landing some shots, looking to maybe explode and turn, but again, Hamza just makes the adjustments, looking to pick that ankle and it looks like Cleary dropping down, but again, the ankle pick is going to work. going to run out of time in the second round, but Wrestling, is, as we say, has been winning this fight so far for Hamza Megamadine. Clearly, he's going back to his corner. What advice, Kirk, if you were in that corner, what advice are you giving Ian Cleary? Get on that bicycle. He's got to use side-to-side -side movement, and he's got to pop in and out. If he simply stalks forward, he's going to get put on his back again, and it won't be pretty. Again, plenty of success for Cleary in the round on the feet. It's just so difficult. As we see here, the exchange has got beautiful distance. Got his head off center, lands and digs, digs to the body. Bass rooting and smiling somewhere. And he's back, that's where the hand went up. He got a little happy with his work. Beautiful shot, we've seen that again. That is a beautiful shot. But he almost got comfortable and taught him controlling the fight here. Turned the wrestler into wrestling mode. And that's where the fight took place for the rest of that round. Well, that's what we see with uh, Michael Medov. He has the type of skill set with that wrestling that he can dictate where the fight goes. If he wants to keep it standing, he can. If he needs to take the fight to the ground, as we see, he can and he will. Michael Medoff will be happy to continue to fight as he's gone with that grappling, but he clearly, potentially curious, does he need a finish to finish this fight to get the victory? There's the oldest saying in mixed martial arts, never leave it in the hands of the judges. Nobody knows what's on those judges' scorecards, including these two fighters. Gentlemen, third I think and they're final. both going to fight ready? hard, just as they have been. He clearly looks fresh as does Michael Medoff coming into the third and final round here of Braves Combat Federation 24 London. Hope they're enjoying the fight thus far. Big third round needed here, you feel, for the Irishman. Clearly really needs to turn the pressure up, maintain that distance. 
He can't get caught, admire in a shot. He needs to land the shot, move, try and land more. Beautiful right kick to the body by Magomedov again. It's a face ball like sound, cracking off the ribs of Cleary, but Cleary wears it well. Switches to Southpaw yet again, giving the different looks to Magomedov. You can tell him Magomedov is just waiting for Cleary to come out of the change levels and drop. I'm not inside Magomedov's head, but I believe he may be trying to get some ring time here. He knows where his wrestling is. It's at a world-class level. There he goes for it. Big sprawl by Team Cleary. But Magomedov slowly just rips that leg in. Cleary's doing well. He needs that big sprawl again here. Oh, he's got it. This could be vital if he can survive it. Stops the takedown, so that's big, but he's still, he's locked up against the cage where we've seen Matt Amaya have a success in round one and two okay. previously. I like this, Matt Amaya on a single, single, single again, yeah, just needs to, but he's going to try and elevate the beautiful work. And this is again, it's, it's what we've seen in, in rounds one and two. We've seen Michael Medov impose his, his superior wrestling, land his strikes and just tire and clear out. Here he well to get back up, but it's that battle of hands as well. He needs to separate the hands of Michael Medov. Turner, he's got to throw the kitchen sink on that. He will, you'll see him, I'm sure, if we separate, go at him and really try to make this a fight. But so far, he cannot solve this puzzle, this twice-like grip that is hands on Michael Medov. Solid takedown now from Magomedov. Up, up, in, up, 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 just, up, 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 it clings to you like glue. His, his chest is essentially buried into either your back or buried into your chest. And the only time you really can move is, is into another disadvantageous position. But every time he gets taken down, Ian Cleary is trying to get back to his feet every time. He's not giving up the position. He has not given up the fight. He's got just over two and a half minutes to turn this one around. But he is really trying to break that grip. But each time he does, Magomedov changes to something else, picks that angle and now goes in on a single. It's almost like he knows you're what, what you're about to do and he's one or two steps ahead in the grappling exchanges. He does indeed. And making Cleary's job even harder is this cage wall in front of us. The classic way to break from a back body lock is to control the hands and sag the hips away from the body. But with a cage there, that's impossible. That's what Magomed is doing. The fight IQ to just hold Cleary up, lean on him. Because he knows it's winning the fight. And the impetus really is on Ian Cleary to do something here. Michael Meadows happy to stay in this position. He's, he's essentially accumulating points with, it, with, with his control. Elbow he clearly in, really go. needs to, back, to back, find back, the energy back, from somewhere back, to, to break that vice like grip of Michael Medoff and, and return it to where he was get, having his most success was in the stand up yes. Here he's looking to explode and get up on Michael Medoff follows. Let's go more for Michael Medoff. He can be nothing but impressed by the grappling. Elite level grappling. And again, there it is. Switches to the single. Looking to pick the ankle. Clearly stops it. Elbows could be there for Cleary when the head is down low. We separate, big shot landed, but Magomedov clearly wore it. And again, it shows the intelligence of Magomedov to, to separate momentarily, land the strikes, and then straight back in for the takedown. And we're elbows here, but you have to be selective from where you're aiming. But there's a short elbow by Cleary, and good spot. Just the cage is stopping him, Cleary. Every time he kicks, his legs out there, sprawl down, and hits the cage, just pushing him. Just under a minute to go in the third and final round. Cleary is going, he's trying everything. What else can he try here for? As you say, he's trying essentially everything, but he's trying to use the cage wall to try and get to his feet. But we see Magomedo try angling the legs to try and elevate them slightly. Because if your feet are above your head, you're immobilized. Back to the feet, looking to separate, Cleary, he's got to have to throw everything, he's got the separation, here's a low ticket, by the ticket, playing it and land the shot, Cleary coming out! Oh yeah, Cleary wants it, he's calling on Michael Medov, he wants a firefight! Showed how intelligent Michael Medov was right there. Because he wasn't going to get drawn into a firefight. No one had made this game clearly yet. He's done the right thing. He's fighting his fight. He's actually wrapped up the fight with a quick breakdown. I know who won this fight, but I want to give a huge shout out to Michael
up for these two warriors. What a fight! <laughs> After three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards. Two judges score them out 30 27. And the last judge scores about 29-28. For your winner, by unanimous decision, out of the red corner, from KHK MMA and Russia, Hamzat Wakar!